Sasha. Baby girl, all right, yeah, so it begin. The body day, make any more with man sin. Belly pierce, make me see the tongue ring. Girl, you full of energy, you know boring. Call the girls, speak, people code pan with him. Follow J5 and sing. Now let's go hear some more about J5. We are here at Bugatta's restaurant on Melrose with my Keek TV and J5. Thanks for having me. Do I call you J5, J5 Flow, or maybe wait, or maybe can I can I call you Omar? No, uh, you can call me J. <laughs> J. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, All right. From so. my friends. Okay. J5. How did you come up with J5 Flow after you know Omar? I don't, I don't really feel like it it matches up. I don't know if I'm missing something. How did you come up with that? You know what, that name, that name was given to me by a cousin of mine. That's how I got the name. We did a little background research on you and you were getting suspended from school at an early age. Yeah. Did you, did you end up making it out alive? I mean, we're happy that you did. <laughs> how many times did this happen? You no, know that happened about three times. There you go, so performing. Three times, yeah, in, in classroom. Okay. Yeah, I, I just can't resist music, you know, so. So for those of you that don't know, J5 was getting suspended from school at an early age because he was performing and he couldn't stop, right? Yeah, I can't stop. All right. Music is always playing in my head, so you know. You did mention that it is like the passion with, that, that grew within for music, but for your fans, for us, we just want to know what exactly does that mean, to say the passion within? What, what really did spark your music interest growing up? It's just something just natural. Because mm -hmm. at the age of five, I realized that um, I just have this uh, burning desire for music and I start making music at age five. Mm -hmm. So before five I don't know what was going on but after five I just know that that's, that, that music is my thing. You that's know, that's great. what I wanted to do. Yeah. I mean having something, just having a passion in anything you know that you can excel and most people don't. So to, for that to start at age five that's you know, that's pretty amazing. We know that it started at five and then you started to network into the into the industry a little bit. So yes. we wanna know, I mean, what was the link between you and Spraga Benz? I know you had that with the, with the Red Square crew. Yeah, before before we even get there, um, have you mentioned that I got suspended from school at an, an, you know, a couple of, a few times. But um, there we go. in Jamaica, I was on the verge of, of making it to mainstream and I migrated to California. So then when I got here, I met Spraga Benz, did some shows for him, and he liked the style and the flavor, you know? Okay. And, well, you know, with, with you saying that, that you like the style, what, what was it about his, his musical influence? I mean, what, what, what can we hear in your music that was influenced mm -hmm. by Spraga Benz? I grew up listening to Spraga. You know, he was one of my, my, this, my artists, you know? Mm -hmm. And from there, and then getting to meet him, and getting in the camp and in his music and my music, you know, now Spraga is more doing cultural music mm -hmm. and I'm more of a cultural person, even though I do dance hall and I, you know, I have the, 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 the bad boy song them and you don't know, for the girls them. Okay, there we and go. And then <laughs> also have the roots. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's at right now. Once things did tar start to solidify for you as an artist, um, you, you know, you, you quickly became like into all the venues within in Jamaica. I know that I noticed that you were at venues like Porta Maria. What, what do you think, how did you get into those doors? I mean, for a lot of beginning artists, it, it is very hard to even perform anywhere or even get a fan base. So do you think that maybe it was your passion for singing, the way that you, you did sing, your music? What was it that was kind of getting you into the doors and into the industry? Well, um, first, I have to give a big shout out to Red Square Productions because Red Square Productions is the first ones that take my career and started launching it. And uh, Roy Ferrin, which is the manager of Red Square Productions, he's the one that get us shows and that's where it started. Also, Mintapir Records, who is my, my main producer, my engineer. Big shout out to Mintapir. They're just the people that started with J5. Right. So that's how I got into do those mint venues. We listen to music, you know, here in America, I'm listening to it and I, I feel that you know you do a lot of you do some singing in some of your your new music and then yes. also some rap a little bit. Yeah. I mean, into to me, I, I kind of feel it's 
a little bit more dance hall, but what would you specifically say that your style is of music because it's so versatile and because you have different genres in there? Well, I like the way you say versatile because... Because that's what you are? I'm <laughs> Mr. Versatile, don't it? I'm the one that says versatile and verse never spoil. I classify my style as dancehall reggae. Oh, yeah. The reason why, because I, I, I sing J part of it and then I DJ part of it and also I do reggae and I also do dancehall. You know, so I say dance out reggae, reggae, yeah. you know. Aside from music, we yeah. want to get a little bit more personal. So I hope you don't mind. Can I call you Omar now? Yeah, man, you can. Okay. Okay, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> we'll get personal. It gets exciting. Yeah. All right, so what other skills do you have, you know, that, that we can all know about? Some, just some personal insight. Besides music, I'm a certified electrician. I'm also a certified bartender. That's what I used to do in Jamaica. And I play soccer. I love soccer. That's my game. Mm -hmm. When I'm not in the studio, when I'm not making a song, when I'm not rehearsing, I'm playing soccer. And so what about uh, bartending? Any, any, you know, bartending gigs you have that my girlfriends and I can come to the, um, to the bar, maybe get some free drinks, perhaps? I don't have no bartending gigs, but you can hire me. <laughs> I, I, I'll be a, a, a great bartender for you. There we not go. Only that, I'm not a regular bartender, I'm a flair bartender. So I do tricks. Even better, even better. Yeah. yeah. God, I, I just hope you're not drinking while you're doing those tricks. Um, that could I'd cause an issue, right? Yeah, I probably just taste. A little taste. That's a, okay, you know. got it. As Jamaican would say, done the place. <laughs> yes, you see me? Can you cook? Cook? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. I feel like I'm a Jamaican, of course, so you know every Jamaican can cook. Oh, is that true? That's, that's really Every Jamaican can cook. If you can cook, you're not a Jamaican. Oh. So okay. every Jamaican can cook, so I can cook. My thing is special. You know, it's, it's different. It's no regular, like my single, no regular. Go on YouTube and check it out. What is? No regular. Am I, am I saying this right? No regular about yeah. No your, regular. Uh, no, reg no regular. Yeah. Thank you. No regular. <laughs> what, is, what is it about, what, what? What's unique about your food then? A special touch, tastes different, the presentation of it. Everything I do is just have to be no regular. Thank you, thank you for sharing all that you've shared today.